Hello, this is Justin Grover with Adobe Product Management. Today I want to show you how date ranges work in the analytics workspace and the analysis workspace. Um, one of the things that that is is that you're often wanting to do is to compare how things perform over different times. And so, you know, up here we can set the entire date range for the project, um, but what we can also do is we can also actually set dates for individual columns. And so if we go in here, I can I can pull out um, the last seven days uh, for a particular um, a particular dimension or metric that, that I'm looking at. So I can actually add uh, you know multiples of these over time um, to be able to um, to be able to compare different date ranges. And so in this case, one of the things that I want to do is I want to compare the last seven days with the seven days prior. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do create a new date range called days um, seven through or let's, we'll call it 14 to 17, 7 to 14 days ago. 14 days ago. And um, what we'll do is we will go ahead and, and change the dates on this so that it is the current day. And then we're going to go minus 7 days, or 14 days, sorry. So 14 days. And then we'll, the end of the date range will be the start of the current day. Um, and then we're going to go minus seven days and so actually we should go eight so that we can get that right we we'll go back here change this you know days eight to 14 days ago and then um, give it a give it a, a tag of maybe a comparison I could give it a description if I wanted to in fact let's go I'm just gonna call it uh, eight to 14 days ago or the last uh, two weeks ago I'll go ahead and save this, and now we can see that this will show up. Um, if we go seven to fourteen or eight to fourteen days ago, this will now show up in my um, in my uh, left rail over here as something that I can drag on, so that I can start to compare multiple date ranges. Um, one of the things that I find really helpful is I'm I'm always trying to do year over year comparisons, and this is a really good way to do a year over year comparison. Um, in this case, I'm going to change it so that we're doing last week, and then I'm going to create a new date range that is a last week, um, but it's the, the equivalent of last week for last year. And so what this does is this gives me a year-over-year -year comparison for the week. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here, I'm going to change the date ranges, and so I'm going to go from the start of the current week, and then I'm going to subtract 53 weeks, come down here, 52 weeks, 53 weeks, because we want last week, let me find 53 here, and then we'll go weeks, and then I'm going to go from the end of the current week, and then I'm going to subtract again 53 weeks, and what this will do is this will give me last week for last year, and this is really helpful as I do year-over-year -year comparisons. So we'll call this a, a, a year, we'll give this a year-over-year -year tag, and call it um, the, um, yeah, we'll, we'll leave the description blank for this one. All right, so now that I've got this in here, now I, can ha now I have a year over year, this last week, last year. So if I bring this in here, now I can actually compare how last week performed versus last week one year ago, and I can see that I do have some growth there. Um, one final thing that I find really helpful with date ranges is that if I, if I go ahead and have a campaign that is that has a fixed start date. What I can do is I can create a project that's built around that campaign, and I can actually create date ranges that are specific to that campaign. So, we'll, you know, if I have a, a, a spring campaign that I'm running, I can actually set a date that is in, uh, as a, a fixed date for the beginning of it. So we'll say that this one began May 1st, and then I can run the date range until the end of the current day. And what that'll do is that gives me a, a fixed start that then rolls um, as the campaign progresses. And at some point in the future, I can then um, add in uh, an end date if I want to, if the campaign gets shut down or something like that. But then what, what, it get, what I have is now I have this, um, this, uh, camp, this date range that is always up to date 
and always shows me exactly what it is that the campaign, or how long the campaign has run. Um, we hope you find this video helpful, and we hope that you enjoy using Animus Workspace.